Hey everybody, uh, this is gonna be another breakdown video on my recent scene, Night City. If you guys haven't seen my recent work uh, on Night City on my Instagram, please follow me there at cc.creations with the Z at the end. Uh, and you can see all of my works that I uh, uh, do, do daily. So uh, in this scene, I'm just gonna do um, a breakdown. Um, I didn't do a video on this one and I forgot to record. But um, hopefully any anything that's in this video, it'll help you out um, do any of these kind of renders. All right, so I'm um, doing a breakdown on this scene. Um, it looks pretty intense, so I'm gonna look around the scene, see how I did everything. This is pretty much what it looks like. I used a uh, an add-on for Blender. It's called um, OSM. If I go to uh, here's the Blender add-on that I used for these uh, building structures. Uh, you can you can get it for free, or you can buy the um, premium edition, which comes with. Um, you know, the texture's already equipped on it, and like, you can download the ground material, uh, mountains and trees, but the quality isn't really too good, so I just got the free version of this. I'll leave it down in the description below if, if you want to download it. Alright, so I placed, um, an image that I got off of, uh, Google. I just typed in building likes and I just scrolled down to just find like a, a good a good image. Came across this image to put on to um, the buildings on these structures. And I kinda barely noticeable if I just put fog in it. Like this, but very visible. Um, the fog here, I just added a, an atmosphere fog, uh, with a cube blocking the scene right here, as you can see. It's blocking the scene pretty much, put it on bounds just to hide it. And then the bottom, you hide, uh, the structure a little bit more, I just put a and then the bottom fog covering the city. And that is, uh, that is just a, uh, another cube with an emission, bringing down the strength, adding a color ramp and a noise texture, playing with the alpha, covering some of the, uh, the fog, or splitting up the fog, I should say. If we hide that, Get this whole ideal of you know fog at all looks pretty nice too but with the fog with it on get more depth i can make a tutorial on the fog on how to uh, create fog much better with your scenes in a new and another uh, tutorial in the future so um these building structures I hand placed are from Kitbash, uh, a Neo City Kitbash. Uh, this is a free uh, pack you can download on kitbash.com. I just grab some buildings from here and place and hand place them, as I did with uh, the OSM add-on that I mentioned earlier. I just uh, you know, kind of scaled it up. It's, uh, Z axis, scale these up a little bit, and I just hand place these as well, just rotating and uh, scaling them in different directions. Um, as I said, these other buildings that I have in the in the uh, viewport, these are uh, Kitbash buildings, and I placed. Um, 
cube right here. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Max Hay on uh, YouTube. I'll link his uh, channel down below in the description as well uh, for you guys to follow and see the tutorial that he made on how to do this. Um, I just uh, grabbed a, a cube and played around with the um, the way it looks for the structure of the kibesh and kind of kind of built it the way it looked like how it should and made some uh, made some buildings on it just the same thing as just the same windows that I put on the uh, building structures down below pretty much and played with the uh, the noise with colors and uh, whatnot and here's the uh, Here's what it looks like, the nodes. Just grabbing the image from you got from uh, Google. Plug like it into the color ramp, to the roughness. This is what I got. See the uh, reflection from the other side of the uh, building on the Google. Uh, that's how you get the reflection, just putting the color ramp to the roughness and playing around with the sliders. And to get the color, I just grab a hue saturation value, plugged it into a color mix RGB into the emission. Played with the emission strength to hide the, uh, to hide the, uh, um, the gray scaling of the blocks on the image. Putting the uh, color into the emission strength, playing with the values as well, as you can see in here. You pretty much see what it's doing. If I turn it, let it turn blue. You know, you just gotta play with the values or the, uh, the sliders in here. This is my recent This is my recent uh, tutorial that I did on the hologram oh, on my YouTube channel. You guys can check out, I'll leave it uh, in the corner. I'll leave a link to it. You guys can follow that tutorial if you need to to see what I did. But I'll just give you a quick breakdown on how I got this so I just grabbed a uh, Google just grabbed a, um, an image off of Google from Google so I got a Google on Google image and brought it into a uh, blender so I got the image here and uh, grabbed a uh, mix RGB plugged it into the emission and the alpha to make it transparent Grab the hue saturation value plugged it into the uh, mix RGB first color doesn't really matter I guess um, grabbed another color ramp plug it into the second color uh, this will help with uh, making these lines which I grabbed the wave texture putting it on uh, y-axis and scaling up or scaling down the scale on how whatever you like just like this and this will break down the how it looks Getting these sharp edges, making it a little bit brighter. But I have a tutorial, I have a full tutorial on how to make something like this if you want to look and learn something new. Same thing with the, uh, with the uh, Apple logo. Pretty much the same thing. Grab the, uh, an image off of Google, an Apple transparency logo. Use a hue saturation, plug it into uh, mix RGB, plug the mix RGB into the emission socket, the alpha socket. Use a multiply, a math node, put it on multiply, plug it into the mix RGB, use a color ramp, plug it into the math node. 
and then used another multiply or another math node, plugged it into the color amp. And then for the lines, I used another wave texture, playing around with the scale and whatnot. See here, the multiply kind of brightens it up to get more value. Playing with the uh, harshness of the lines, with the color amp. Same thing with the math node. All right. Now these buildings, the kitbash buildings, it already has a windows equipped to it. So what I did, I just try to locate where the glass tinted is. So it's right here. And I just uh, placed a color ramp and then a noise texture into the um, into the um, alpha, brighten up the emission to about two, and I got something something like this. Get the uh, to get the look. I'm just not, if I just take that off, it'll just be all same uh, material. I plug it back in, everything will be different. Some lights are on, some lights are off. As you can see right here, same thing. Same thing for this building. Everything's pretty much the same, but if you, you know, use it into the alpha. Play around the scale. Make it brighter. around this get different you get different styles and here these assets this guy just grabbed a, a uh, an asset from Humano uh, 3d which is a great a website to uh, buy uh, 3D models, 3D character models. And these assets I just grabbed from the free uh, Kitbash, the Kitbash kit, cones, um, oh sorry, no, actually I used uh, city streets for, for the uh, trash can. The barricade and the cones um, for the rooftop this wasn't really uh, the same picture that I used for theirs I just um, for this I used uh, a wetness material so I just played I just uh, brought in a noise noise texture and the color and plugged it into the roughness to, to get this uh, wetness on the roof as it would, as if it was raining, and I uh, played with the character model as well, making it look a little bit wet. Putting the specular on, and I haven't had any uh, nodes. I just put the specular on. As you can see here, and then a metallic as well to make it look like the training. And going down for these uh, light streaks down below. See here. This is just a, a curve. What I just did was I just had a curve path. Go to edit mode. Deleted all of these X vertices on this one, extruded it, extruded it to my liking. And then you know, played with. 
with the uh, depth of it to get that skin look. It's pretty simple. It's pretty much the whole scene. Alright guys, so I made a part two on this uh, video. I'm going to go over how I post-process um, this photo. Might not be correct because I'm going to do it from scratch um, from my actual render that I posted on Instagram. So, um, first off, I'm going to show you guys how to render this out and what I do to render. So, we're just going to render it out. Might take a minute. Um, system is out of GPU, so there's a problem to this, so if you don't know how to fix this, what we can do is just uh, Z, go to solid, solid view, and then render it out again, and usually it'll work. Take a minute. Okay, so it's rendered out. Now what we can do is go to compositing. This is what I do. And all I add into the compositor, what I just add is a glare node and then RGB curves and just meshing around with the with the uh, the brightness of the colors and the actual image of the whole scene. Uh, meshing around with the curves. Then what I'll do is take this image Go to render, go up here, save it as your viewer node, and save it to your files, take it into Photoshop, open that image. I use Affinity Photo, everybody uses Photoshop, but Affinity Photo is really great, it doesn't have a subscription, it's a one-time payment, so I, uh, I really recommend or suggest this uh, Photoshop over the actual Photoshop itself. So what, here, what I do here is uh, I'll add some clarity, bring it up to about 20 and then at a high pass put it on maybe soft light bring it up just a little bit to about 0 0.5 and put a soft proof on it Playing around with these perceptual, bring down the opacity just a bit. And we'll just do a blend diff. Playing with the graph, trying to make it a little bit um, more clear. Then here we'll uh, add a vibrance. I'm doing this pretty quick because I've already uh, done all of this, so I pretty much don't know what I'm doing. But um, I'm just giving you guys how process of what I did how I did it then I'll add a, uh, a shadow to make the dark shadows pop out a little bit more and then brightness and contrast brighten up or darken the shadows just a little bit more Use a color balance 
to just the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Then what I'll do is we have an asset library and affinity photo. I'll just grab like a few fog textures, place them in here. Put it on, you know, maybe soft light. Bring it up, duplicate that one, place it into to the city. Rotate it, scale it, whatever you need to do to make it right. Bring down the opacity. Can change the color as well by recolor. Same thing with the bottom one. We can recolor this as well. yellow and this one will just bring down the opacity to about 25 and we'll duplicate that one put it to the side right here bring it up to about 100 put it into the abyss right here in the corner that's what I did it's wherever you think um, works the best in your eyes just make everything look like it could be there then I took this image went to develop persona played around with the values to get it right kind of made it grayed out a little bit to make it look like it was in the oldies and also like in the futuristic cyberpunk style and that's just that's all I did right there and for the rain I just added a you know a rain texture to the scene Grab one of these rains and just placed it over the image. Brought the uh, thing to soft light and the opacity down just a bit. And brought in another rain, place it over and again. to soft light and brought the opacity down to about 50 and that's what I got in Photoshop so moving on to Topaz Studio this is where all the magic happens this is where I uh, render out the whole scene so Going back to Photoshop, I usually just, you know, file, export it, export it as a JPEG, best quality by cubic, make the quality 100 or 90, doesn't really matter, doesn't really mess up the quality much, but I'll just keep it at 100. Export it, import this. Now Topaz, uh, Topaz Studio is a free uh, software you can download, a really great software that I use all the time. And here, I'll just show you the filters that I use for some of my works. 
So I use sharpen, lens, lens de blur, and bring it up to 3%. Then I'll use compression, going through about maybe three of these. I usually use this one, this one, or this one, or maybe this one. For this scene, I use this, put it on high. Play around the sliders to make it right. You want to make sure that these white particles are not showing in the scene, so try to hide all of these. Make it much easier. Now we can bring down the opacity to about 7. Then I added a radiance, light, strengthening it up. Bring it all the way down for the saturation, saturation a little bit up to get a bit more vibrance. Bringing opacity down to about maybe 25. It's a huge difference. Maybe 20. Adding another radiance, a dark radiance. This one won't this one won't be as much. So we'll just uh This this part is just to bring out the uh the whole scene to make it pop out a little bit better. Bring this all the way down to about you know six maybe or maybe three not much of a difference but it'll give it that pop feeling then here you can just add a balloon maybe just a little bit and bring down to about 15 they go back up here to precision contrast like with this around the sliders making the scene pop out even more to about 25 lower uh, bring it up to about 15 medium bring it down it's all about experimenting with these sliders to your liking I never seen this difference, so it won't be exactly the same all the time. So, and there you have it. Before and then after. A little bit better. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, the breakdown video on this. So hopefully. If any of this helps, please leave a comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.